when I got the email to potentially work at Google, I thought somebody was trying to fish me. Yeah. I thought it was like a scheme. I thought, <laughs> I thought somebody was trying to get me I because I was like, what you, what you mean yeah. you want me to work at, at Google? Right. I thought only unicorns worked there. Sure, maybe I didn't see myself at Google initially, but now it's just like I couldn't see myself anywhere else. Right. Hi, everyone. I'm Jason with Life at Google, where we share an inside look at what it's like to work here. Today, we're in Austin for Afrotech, which is the largest gathering of black professionals in the US. For this video, we're flipping the script and having Afrotech attendees ask any questions that they have to four Googlers who work in recruiting. Let's see what they have to say. Give me like a 30 second sales pitch on Google. Yeah, that's tough, man, because- We in the elevator. <laughs> we in the elevator, we chilling. That's, that's I, got, I, got my, I got my muffin <laughs> heater right here. The reason why it's tough is because the scale of what we do is so massive. If I, if I had to give the pitch, the thing that kind of resonates with me recently is built for everyone. Now, Google's products are pervasive through our lives. You probably don't go an hour without being touched by one of Google's products, whether it's YouTube, Gmail, <laughs> Chrome. <laughs> um, I got my phone in my hand. Android, you got an Android device? I'm getting touched all the time. So right. I think for me, do you want to be working in a company that it has that much impact? If you don't, I understand that, but I want to I wanna make some impact. So that's, that's why I say uh, Google's a fantastic company to work for. I work uh, right now as a product manager, specifically around um, product inclusion. And so I really wanted to understand how does Google incorporate marginalized communities as they are developing new products? Do they test with them? Great question. That is something that is very much at the forefront of everything we're doing right now. You know, definitely incorporating a lot in hiring so that we get a community that is able to better identify some of the gaps that that there might exist with products. How has Google been able to like measure the effectiveness of like what does product inclusion like look like for them when it comes to like these communities? So we do have our diversity annual report oh, that wow. really outlines where we were last year, where we are this year, all of the initiatives going on across the company, not just with hiring, but you know, all across that space. What type of resources does Google provide for learning? Oh my goodness, so many different resources. So we have a multitude of trainings that you can sign up for, new orientation uh, classes that you have to go through once you first get into Google that really teach you about the company, who we are, what we stand for, our vision, our mission. Yeah, I want to know about your experience as Google, as you know, as a minority. I am one of the Black at YouTube leads and we founded the New York chapter. So there are five of us women who started it together. They're like my sisters. And so I think there's actually been like an advantage in the sense that like we're community, we're family. I'm also in BGN, the Black Googler Network. And so while we're like still underrepresented numbers wise, the bond there is like incredibly strong. You know, I, at YouTube we're able to support black creators. So I just got some product feedback um, earlier today from a creator that we can bring back to the company. What advice would you tell someone else trying to be a part of your network? How would you encourage them? What would you say? The advice I'd give is you belong here. Not just me, look at all the people that belong here. Not now we can see it. Right. Like I think that's the shift is look at Afrotech. Right. Look at it. Yeah. Like Empowering. Beautiful, beautiful black people all over, unapologetically yeah. themselves. Swag swagged out in their own. Yeah. So like the thing is we started to build more of those inroads where they can see themselves. So I think that's the first thing is we need to make that change. Is there anything you'd like to ask a Googler? If so, let us know at goo.gle slash ask a Googler. Thanks for watching. Reporting live from Google. <laughs> black man to black man, I want to say I'm proud of you for you doing you and being you in this type of space. And thank you for interviewing with me. I'm proud of you too, bro. I appreciate that. Hey, man, we here.